Okay, let's take our audience to Kirinyaga now. And in Kirinyaga County, where the devolution conference has kicked off, a tussle for revenues is unfolding, with senators demanding 381 billion Kenyan shillings for counties against a plan 310 billion from Treasury. Stephen Leto is our man on the ground. Good morning, Stephen Leto, and Paul Esana for the events of uh, um, when was it? Yesterday, Monday. That yeah. is yesterday, in, in as far as uh, the crew, Citizen TV crew there that was robbed of their property. I don't know whether you have any updates on that, but even as you do that, what can you tell us from the conference? Well, uh, Sam and Zinzi, uh, indeed I'm still traumatized over yesterday's events in Kirinyaga, but we'd continue unbowed over what had happened and unfolded the Citizen TV and Inoro TV crews that are stationed right here in Kirinyaga County for the 6th Devolution Conference in 2019. But most importantly is the official kickoff or the official opening of the 6th Devolution Conference. President Uru Kenyatta is expected to officially open this particular uh, session of the sixth devolution conference but in the entry is a lot of issues that the, uh, the Council of Governors had already outlined to you know uh, discuss from today all the way to Friday mat particularly uh, matters surrounding the funding of counties remember the bigger headache or the greater headache right now is the 310 billion shillings that the national government intends to give to counties while the Commission on Revenue Allocation had proposed 335 billion shillings. Interestingly, Sam, yesterday we spoke to the chair of the devolution committee of the Senate, uh, the Senator for Laikipia, and he was telling that, us that the Senate had resolved that they pushed the national government to give counties an additional 70 billion shillings to make it 381 billion shillings to enable counties to run their activities right in the 2019-2020 budget. And remember yesterday, the bigger challenge now in the counties is the streamlining of the held uh, docket in the counties. Remember, there has been a three-week uh, you know, uh, uh, strike of the nurses across all the 47 counties. And even yesterday, in the meeting between President Uru Kenyatta and the 47 governors in Sagana, they spoke about that matter widely. And they urged the governors to ensure that they put in place measures to ensure that once the 60 days period lapses that the court had given, then there's, there are ways to ensure that the nurses do not uh, down their tools again. But of course, the Council of Governors uh, session cannot go you know and recognize over what they have you know uh, you know exhibited right here in Kirinyaga right now we are at the ex exhibition hall for the sixth devolution conference and behind me you can see a lot of activities and when you see a lot of uh, uh, issues you see uh, you have that is uh, that is uh, uh, Bomet County you see how the Council of Ghana is also trying to push for the gender committee three governors already being female they're just uh, you know trying to also ensure that the counties also get that uh, very representative presentation uh, amid that clamor for the gender parity a lot of issues what exactly happens right here at the uh, at this uh, at this stance is the counties come to exchange ideas and what is happening or what is being sold better in one county and how they can you know uh, exchange with various counties like you see the bids uh, how the bids are you know being uh, displayed right here this is one of the places that the uh, that uh, key government officials, including President Uru Kenyatta, before or after opening the sixth devolution conference, will be going around. That is a Makweni uh, County products, just displaying them to see how that can be marketed all the way to the rest of the 47 counties, and just uh, uh, you know tell you how they do best and what is working uh, for them. And so some. The issue of you know uh, 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 getting counties to do a diverse uh, you know thing to run the counties matters on revenue allocation. How counties are going to uh, to you know uh, uh, up their their numbers in terms of re revenue allocation? Remember, the control of budget had issued a statement or a quarterly report indicating that majority of counties were still struggling in terms of doing uh, you know revenue collections at the grassroots level and that forming part of their budget. And so if a county collects uh, uh, less uh, sum, it means then they have to review their budgets to you know uh, be in tandem with what already they have been able to collect in terms of local revenue. And so all this stands if we would just show you some of the creativity that you have in, in, in various county governments, uh, various how various county executives are uh, you know uh, you know displaying their thing in terms of creativity. 
uh, that is still the COG Gender Committee, and if if you go if you go there, they are also being encouraged in terms of uh, street lightings, and we have companies coming in just to you know show how they can be able to partner with counties to ensure that you know they boost the electricity across uh, for instance that is one of the uh, power companies just coming to display their you know art and how they work in terms of uh, setting up electricity all the way from power generation uh, all down to you know where they they say they are lighting counties and so uh, there's just several issues that also the Council of Governors or the this sixth devolution conference intends to achieve in terms of explaining to the uh, to the you know other counties how they should how they should you know partner in terms of agriculture. We are still trying to see whether whether we can you know get uh, one of the agricultural displays. But what we know is counties from the Sugar Belt region, counties from the South Rift region are also coming you know to showcase how their soil uh, 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 soil acidity and what they grow best. That is another uh, that is another county that is uh, I guess that is Narok County. Displaying, uh, just displaying what they, uh, you know, trying to, you know, display what they make. Uh, uh, being a pastoral county, they're also trying to, you know, display some of the uh, uh, maize uh, beans that they yield in that particular county. The, of course, uh, several governors will be also coming to this stand to just, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, visit their stands. And just see how things are. And so for now, that is exactly uh, what is happening. It's, it's becoming a busy uh, uh, session at the exhibition center because uh, several uh, delegates who are coming into the devolution conference are still, you know, coming in to to uh, to see what is happening right here. And so, Sam, I'll uh, give it back to you because we are still uh, going around all the exhibition centers, right from County 001 to County 047, that is Nairobi County. And once we get one interesting county will be able to feature but of course don't forget that at 10 we'll be we are visiting some of the counties stands and later on speaking to several governors and see how they've been able to you know uh, revolutionize devolution at the county level but it's about money 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 right here at the sixth devolution conference in Kirinyaga County Sam and Zinzi okay let's so I take notice that your last stand to visit was uh, Narok and I'm not saying anything about Narok <laughs> County but I take notice but just before you go so you're talking about the governors just talking about money. The Senate wants 381 billion shillings allocated for financial year 2018-19. But in those terms and in what the governors are doing, are you seeing any genuine effort to ensure that there's more revenue generated and in as far as advancing the big four agenda is concerned, special interest on manufacturing based on the stance that you're seeing there? Some, if you speak to some governors, they will tell you that the handshake would have deflated their push for more money because there is no that uh, vigor by some uh, key leaders from the opposition, particularly seated in the Council of Governors, you know, to push for more money. But some of the measures that we've seen uh, them trying to put is to ensure that they depend more on their revenue allocation. Remember the, uh, the, the council, the IBEC council, that is chaired by Deputy President William Ruto, had already sounded an alarm to governors telling them that what you need to do now is to ensure that you raise your own revenue and ensure that you maximize that own revenue to ensure that you use it in terms of development and even supporting the recurrent expenditure because the national government where money is supposed to trickle down to the grassroots level is running dry the taps are not really doing good and it is that that the county government the, the county the national government rather I suppose that they give county governments 310 billion shillings as opposed to what the Commission of Revenue Allocation had proposed of 335 billion shillings. Remember from 2013 all the way to 2018, six years down the line, 1.6 trillion shillings has already been pumped to the county level. And there is that, there has been that, you know, uh, question uh, across the bar over who is spending money well in terms of what do governors have to show in the, uh, with the 1.6 trillion shillings they have been given. Remember the Senate passed a law that 30% of all the monies that have been allocated to them be allocated to development by the control of budget has been giving reports on the contrary that some governors are even allocating zero shillings to development in some quarters of three to four months. Those are some of the questions that we need to unlock and see what governors will be bringing on the table this time round. Sam.